catering with intent, avid for love, well learned of Ovid. I crept beneath the branches, our trysting trees, those birches, waiting for her petulance. Looking out, I spied, perchance, a simian shape sidling by, for fear of hounds slinking nigh, a fox squatting near his earth, like a hound sits by my hearth. I aimed, for it lay just so in my hands, my yew tree bow, hoping, for my eye is sharp, to prove well my marksmanship, as he shot by ridge furrow, to transfix him with an arrow, this ruddy fox. In my zest to loose bowstring at this pest, I tugged too hard, more fool me, the bow splintered into three. I was undeterred, but wroth to watch him melt like a wraith into undergrowth. He loves chicken flesh and spurns the lives of foolish fowl. He coughs dark with his rasping backwards bark, scorning horns red as gravel, loping laughingly to grovel in the greenwood. There he goes, across the field, craving goose flesh, scarecrow upon the hill, furrow leaper red as hell, raven mammal, magpie hound, red Welsh dragon, underhand rabble rouser, hen gobbler, pelt with teeth, gristle grubber, gimlet gouging through the earth, lantern in the dark and dearth, light of footfall, coat of bronze, bloody muzzled firebrand. No easy task to follow to Anun such a fellow, elusive fiend, fleet of foot, who fools his foes, leaves them faint, like a lion runs through gorse with a dart stuck in his arse.